Kidding. Mmm. Mmm. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? My name is Derek. I'm riding my bike to Adelaide from Brisbane. Today is I say Wednesday or Thursday. I think it's today's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Definitely Wednesday. We will be talking about nutrition today. Today will be Nutrition Wednesday. How to be how to get some decent nutrition while you're cycle touring and you know specifically talking about being vegan while cycle touring and how amazingly easy it is so easy I have some date in my mouth right now yum 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 so we just woke up so I just woke up about half an hour ago and we're just cleaning up camp cleaning up camp The road is just, well, the road's just about 20 meters right there. And I'm gonna get going for the day. And we're about 50 kilometers from a city called uh, Sale. As in, as in, I was going to make a sale today at the store. That kind of sale. So I'm gonna go there. We'll check out the grocery store and I'll show you guys what I've been eating on this trip since that is actually a big part of why I'm doing the trip and I haven't even talked about it yet so I am gonna talk about that today some loud birds here they are going crazy I think they're very territorial and they don't like me very much so I'm gonna pack up and get the hell out of here oh baby so we've done 110 kilometers for the day so far did finish that just after two o'clock which is really really quick pace for me so I've had a good long afternoon break and we'll end up doing it about another uh, 50 or 60 kilometers uh, to finish off the day so that'll put me on 160 170 for the day which is a really really good day considering um, you know lack of sleep and just all the all the crap that I've I've been through over the past week in terms of uh, all the hills and stuff on the bike anyways we're talking about nutrition today uh, nutrition uh, for cycle touring or even just nutrition in general so main, main thing that you want to do, especially for cycle touring, is you want to keep your diet as high in carbohydrates as possible, low in fat, low in fat. So no animal, no animal products, no dairy, no eggs, none of that, none of that shit you want to be eating, uh, especially while cycle touring. You want to keep it basically as high sugar as possible. And you're gonna, you're absolutely going to have a lot better performance on the bike. Is anything fatty? Is this gonna make your legs feel like they're like, like, non-existent? Like they, like they just don't work. And so, you know, basically, obviously, lots of water. You want to be drinking. Uh, it depends. You know, when I was in, when I was in Asia, I was drinking, you know, 10 liters in a day, and I was only taking, only going pee twice. Whereas like now I can usually drink six or seven, maybe eight liters in a day, and I'll go pee like six or seven times throughout the day. So it's, it's a little bit different, you know, it's not nearly as hot and humid here, a little bit different in temperature. Um, next thing that I drink a lot of is, so I drink a lot of pasteurized juice. So whether it's, this is uh, just Golden Circle, little, little dog visiting. Uh, so this is just unsweetened uh, pineapple juice. For one of these big guys like this, two liters of juice, it's 250 grams of sugar in it. So that's about a thousand calories uh, just from carbohydrates. It's not including um, the amount, uh, the, pr the calories that you'll get from protein. That there is $2.50. Uh, I just got that in Kohl's. Um, I think it was on sale from $3.59. You can get the one liter Tetra packs and those are usually about $2, $2.15 or so. And one liter is 125 grams of sugar, so about 500, um, about 500 calories or so. But yeah, 
good estimation. Um, something else that I eat a lot of are dates, pitted dates. You know what I do right on the bike here? I have this little tri bag right here. And so we just throw dates right in there. And all I do is I just, you know, every 15, 20 minutes or so, I throw, you know, three, four, five of those in my mouth and just keep the sugar, keep the sugar rolling into my body. You just want to keep it going. Um, so this is 500 grams or a pound for the Americans of, of dates. Right now, these are running about uh, $3.50. This is about, a th about 1,400 calories. Usually a pound of dates is about 1,400 calories, so that's a good estimation to go by. Um, you can also, if you got the money, um, this is $7 for basically that same thing. This is, these are fresh medules from California though, so they're gonna be a lot nicer and a lot tastier. Next thing, raisins. Raisins are your next best food that you wanna be eating. I got these, these aren't the best ones because um, I had to buy it in a little small town. Didn't really have anything else to go by there. And so 375 grams, I paid like $4 for these. Um, usually you can get the same type of pack from the, get these in, in uh, Woolworths, macro uh, whole food markets. They also have the Sultanas as well. Uh, same thing, 500 grams, usually same price around, you know, 250 to $3 for a package of those. So lots to go by. That, that's like the main stuff that I, that I consume while cycle touring, so juice, raisins, dates, that's it. Something else that all the raw vegans, well, the raw vegans will probably hate, you know, me showing pasteurized juice or recommending pasteurized juice. Um, but there's really, I mean, when you're, when you're in a new town every, you know, uh, couple hours, you know, you just gotta, you gotta make do with what you have. Um, something that the raw vegans will definitely hate me for, but if something that you want is um, bread. Big, baguette of bread here. This thing was $1.50 and this thing is about 750 to 800 calories. Um, so bread is another good option. So you can you can buy a loaf of bread and what you do with the loaf of bread is you can like um, you can just put uh, like jam and like jam on it or something like that like get a strawberry jam which is basically pure sugar as well uh, no fat and just go with those. Those can be your staples on the road. They've been my staple on the road so far. You know, over the, I, I will have done a thousand kilometers in, I think it's, because I left, I left Sydney Wednesday last week and I'm gonna be arriving in Melbourne tomorrow, which is Thursday. So in eight days, I will have done a thousand kilometers and that includes one day where I only did 40 kilometers. So, I mean, just going by that, you know, we've had a good time cycle touring, you know, keeping the sugar high. I never want to feel hungry. You never want to feel hungry while you're out there. You want to keep the sugar high, keep the carbohydrates as high as possible. You want to keep your glycogen tank filled right up. You know, snack on dates while you're riding. Dates are nice and are really, really easy to snack on while you're riding because they're, because they're, they're a good size. You can just, you know, huck them in your mouth. That's, those are gonna be my nutrition tips for cycle touring in Australia here. Um, around, when you go to different parts of the world, you're gonna have to eat different things. Like when I was in Asia, it was just rice, rice and veggies all day long, rice and veggies all day long. Um, specifically in like Vietnam and Cambodia, where you know I couldn't get dried fruits like this and I couldn't get, actually um, I could get bread in, in some parts as well. So, you know, bread is pretty well, you know, you can get it pretty well all around the world. With any of your nutrition in life, you want to keep it high carb, low fat, low sodium. N nothing here has any sodium added. There's going to be small amounts of sodium within the food itself, but nothing, no salt added or anything like that. Maybe in the bread, they probably add a little bit of salt. Not a big deal though. You absolutely want to keep it high carb, low fat, low sodium. You know, you see a lot of guys cycle touring and they're just eating complete junk food, complete junk food. You want to you use the time for cycle touring to really try to enhance your nutrition if you can. And to really, like, obviously, you know, I'm not getting, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables all day long. Um, you can cycle tour and do it completely raw. Freely has done the same ride that I did, that I'm doing right now, completely raw. She did it completely raw from Adelaide to Brisbane. So it can be done. Um, I just really like to go fast, 
Um, I like to do big days and so I just like to get quick, quick food that's gonna really replenish my body as quickly as possible. I don't have to wait around for anything to ripen or anything like that. I like to carry as little on the bike now as possible and just just go. So those are my new, those are my nutrition tips for cycle touring. Keeping it high carb, low fat, low salt. Don't be going out to McDonald's and getting burgers and fries and going out and getting pizza and stuff like that. You're just gonna destroy your health while you're in cycle tour. You're not gonna enjoy, enjoy yourself as much as possible. Keep it high carb, keep it low fat, low salt. I will repeat it over and over and over again until I go blue in the face. All right guys, I am going to mow down some juice and I'm going to talk to you guys soon. The channel if you wanna see more, Leave your questions and comments below, like or dislike the video, and I will talk to you guys super soon in Melbourne. Cheers.